Russian troops say they're starving, sent to slaughter. A new video shows Russian troops complaining that their commanders send them to slaughter and leave the wounded to rot rather than issue evacuation orders, according to the Kiev Post. We are abandoned. It looks so. Our command provides false information, a soldier in the video says. The video shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, by Anton Gerashchenko, advisor to Ukraine's Interior Ministry, shows a group of Russian soldiers sitting in cramped quarters and complaining about their commanders and their provisions. A soldier in the video recounts how his comrades found a can of stewed meat, diluted it with water from the Dnipro River and drank it for a week so as not to starve to death. The Russian soldiers say that they have no documentary evidence that they are even at war. In the video, a soldier opens up his military document and shows that the third page where his contract is supposed to be is blank. If there's no record of the soldiers, their wives get hung up on if they call the government about their husbands. Meanwhile, the soldiers in the video who say they haven't received their pay buy everything at their own expense, including food, medicine and uniforms. I treat people with medicine at my own expense, a soldier says. Another soldier says, so we take out the wounded from under the mortar fire and other shooting fights on personal transport. Personal transportation is fueled with our own money. That is, we either collect money from the brigade for gasoline and oil, among other things, or we get money from our wives as we have no money and our salaries do not come. So we're simply taking the last of the money from home, the soldiers says. The video seems to further confirm intercepted calls that show parts of the Russian army are poorly provisioned, badly motivated and generally treated as cannon fodder. They just brought us in, threw us out in the woods and told us to dig and not to go anywhere from this strip because a drone might fly in and drop something on our heads, a Russian prisoner of war told the Kyiv Post in an earlier interview.